How's it going, everyone? My name is BQ, and over this past weekend, I went to a memorial service, uh, a funeral, if you will, that um, it was someone that I, I knew. I, uh, I kind of grew up with them. I say kind of because I didn't actually grow up with them. We live in such a small town that you kind of know everybody, so it's kind of hard not to grow up with people, um, so to speak. Person, uh, that, uh, I know pretty well, um, and is actually a, uh, older brother of a, uh, close friend of mine. Um, very tragic how he passed away. I was just, uh, contemplating just a lot about, um, the aspect of, uh, death and, um, just how young he was he he was only a year older than me he was um uh 26 yeah incredibly young incredibly uh talented uh energetic um man that uh really really should not have uh been taken so uh early uh from this earth at this memorial service i could not happen but to compare it to my mom's memorial service her funeral um, different kind of people there, um, the, that family, um, of the, uh, the, of the departed, uh, guy, uh, not sure if I said that right, but, um, they are, uh, incredibly religious, uh, so, and, uh, my family's never been religious, so, definitely a different crowd and just overall, um, presentation, if you will, about the whole memorial service. It's hard not to compare death when you also have gone through a uh uh a death that probably should not have happened so early in one's lifetime it's it's very easy to compare someone that had just died with uh that what made a big impact on people um with someone else in your life that uh, has made a bit big impact in your life that uh, has also passed uh, and also, um, the three-year, uh, anniversary of, uh, my mom's passing is, uh, coming up. Ever since my mom died, I haven't really had the ability to, I, I'm not sure if I want to say cry, or it's more like perceived sadness, urge to cry at, uh, something sad, uh, like that. I think it might be because I had already gone through a uh an event in my life that was so impactful and and sad of course that i feel that since i've gone through that there's not a whole lot that can make me really um cry on the behalf of someone and that got me really thinking because once i started thinking about that notion that what kind of things would actually make me weep like that. Honestly, I couldn't think of too much. I could only think of about three people in my life that would uh, really make me um, uh, weep uncontrollably uh, if they passed. Um, one of them would be uh, my sister uh, and Two of them are, uh, very close friends of mine. Uh, all three of these people, um, are women. So they are three very important women in my life. Saying those things right now, I kinda feel kinda shitty about, uh, saying that only these three people would really make me cry uncontrollably, because there's a lot of people in my life that uh, are close to me and mean a lot to me. Um, like, uh, uh, other friends, like, uh, dude bro friends, that if they did pass away, I would be, of course, incredibly sad about that. I'm just not sure if I would actually, uh, cry over them. Certainly I would tear up a bit, and certainly would have, uh, emotions flowing through me, but I think if, uh, I had a, a friend die, and if it was, uh, one of my, uh, dude friends, uh, I think my initial overall, like, emotion about that right now would be <sighs> sorry bro we had a good run just kind of something like that and that kind of spooked me to think about that again that i wouldn't really cry for uh only 
I would only cry for three people. And um, yeah, it's it's a weird perspective to look at. I'm not sure if the prospect of me not wanting to feel sad or show that I'm crying or showing that emotion. I'm not sure what that means or that, that I feel strong and I need to show that I am strong and to show that I don't need these emotions. I not quite sure why I wanted to feel that way and it kind of scares me a little bit that I would uh, not want to show or feel emotion to that capacity. So I thought to myself and maybe I need to do a better job at liking and loving and appreciating people. Maybe I'm not doing a good job really showing that I care about people. I don't know, because in a way, I am kind of proud of myself for feeling that, you know, I'm tough enough to deal with these emotions. But at the same time, it kind of scares me that I wouldn't cry too much over someone that is close to me. I, I just don't know. It's a weird revelation I had. Just something that was... uh on my mind for the past couple of days since uh, that uh, uh, memorial service. Um, so if anything that you want to take away from this video, love, 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 all the time. Tell people that you love them. Tell people that you miss them, wish them a happy day. Make sure that they are OK and uh, reevaluate what it means to uh, have a, a relationship, not just a romantic one. Think about all the relationships you have with uh, all sorts of people in your life and uh, make sure that um, they're strong. And yeah, it's really all I had to say on the, this uh, weird, strange matter. Um, anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a um, uh, better mental process about uh, this than I do, but uh, maybe I gave you something to think about. I actually have another video that I'm going to be uploading in a second. I would really, really, really appreciate um, you checking that out and leaving a comment down in that video after you watch that video because uh, I've kind of uh, been struggling with uh, uh, something um, for a while. But anyways, uh, I've rambled on long enough. Um, have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.